Hello, I'm Jane Fonda, and this is A&M Studios in Hollywood, California. On the evening of January 28th, along with several other people, I was fortunate to be here and to witness an extraordinary event. 45 of the most remarkable singers in American popular music had come together to record a special song and make a special commitment. For many of us watching that night, part of the thrill was seeing so many diverse artists working together so compatibly with serious purpose, but with a sense of humor and spontaneous spirit. After all, how often have any of us had a chance to see genuine legends like Ray Charles, Bob Dylan, Michael Jackson, Lionel Richie, Diana Ross, Tina Turner, Bruce Springsteen, Willie Nelson, oh, and so many more, all in the same room, sharing harmonies, telling jokes, and even shedding tears. Frankly, it was a bit like a dream. The vision of an artist community coming together, declaring that an urgent common concern was more important to them than musical differences or individual renown. It was a dream too good not to share. And so in the next hour, we would like to give you a glimpse of some of the more enduring moments of that memorable evening. Michael Jackson bypassed the American Music Awards to come in by himself and record one final guide vocal that Quincy could use as a map for the song's chorus parts. Then, a little after 9 p.m., the other singers and their guests began arriving. Many, like Cindy Lauper and Tina Turner and Lionel Richie, were coming straight from the American Music Awards, where Tina and Cindy had performed and Lionel had hosted. People who had been competitors only a few hours before were now meeting as partners in deliverance. Others, like Daryl Hall, John Oates, Paul Simon, Billy Joel, and Bruce Springsteen, had flown in that same day. I'll be here. I guess that's where they leave me stay. When I saw those faces come in the studio that night after the American Music Awards, and they just were checking in one by one, uh, Ray Charles, and it just on and on, and I started to feel that everybody was on the case, and they weren't involved, and the egos, and that's one of the key words we had that night was check your ego at the door. You saw artists that had just met for the evening, hugging each other or comforting each other. I will tell you, though, no one who was intimidated. To walk into their midst and to feel an instant sense of camaraderie, an instant sense of belonging, an instant sense of oneness, is a, is a very, very unusual experience. Then at 3 a.m. it was time to start the rehearsals for the montage of 21 lead vocals and duet and harmony parts that would give the song its unique character and flow. While Quincy read over the various parts with most singers, often showing them the precise phrasing he wanted, others worked their parts out in pairs. Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles teamed together, for example, reading their lines with the use of an electronic braille machine. That's yours. And if you just believe, there's no way we can fall. If you just believe, there's no way we can fall. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yes. <laughs> can, I, can I go now? Oh, no. <laughs> we are the world. We are the world. We are the world. We are the children. Who's too loud? We all love the chorus. All right, great. Here comes the time. The exact order of the vocals and the job of deciding who would sing solos and who wouldn't 
and how to match up so many dissimilar voices had been made a couple of days earlier by Lionel, Quincy, and Quincy's associate producer and vocal arranger, Tom Baylor. We ceased being individuals. We were a family so strong, so committed to something that it was frightening. By four in the morning, everybody felt comfortable with their parts. In fact, everybody seemed quite invigorated. But just prior to the recording of the solos, something happened to remind all of us of the underlying serious purpose of the event. Stevie Wonder brought two guests into the studio, two Ethiopian women who had seen famine spreading across their homeland. As one of these women spoke to the artists, it was as if the reality of the tragedy in Africa had just come closer to home in an unforgettable way. You need some Ethiopian? Okay. Uh, uh, in English, on behalf of my country, we thank you for all you have done. Thank you very much. There comes a time when we heed it. Wait a minute. We gotta stop making noise during takes, please. Green thing. <laughs> there comes a time. When we heed a certain call When the world must come together as one There are people dying Oh, and it's time we lend a hand to life The greatest gift of all We can't go on Pretending day by day that someone somewhere said it will say we are all a part of God's great big family and the truth you know love is all we need we are the ones You send them your heart So they know that someone cares And their lives will we'll be stronger and free As God has shown us By turning stone to bread And so we all must lend a helping hand We are the world We are children we are the ones to make a brighter day so let's start giving well there's a chance we're making we're saving our own lives it's true we make a better day just you and me we're down and out but there seems no hope at all but if you just
Cindy, we had a lot of uh, bracelets. Oh, yes. is that? Oh, oh my earrings. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 no. Uh, Everything I can to sing that in tune, which I think will be a real nice trick for my part. Can I help? Can I help? Yeah, it's good. It's tough. It's, it's just we're, we're, yeah, far, we're far, 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 we're yeah. far, far. Can I go? Put out a little more energy. I don't know that it's, you can. It wouldn't hurt. time of the morning where we must be as accurate as possible. Here we go. There comes a time when we heed a certain call. After maybe only a half a dozen takes, the main sequence of solo vocals was finished. Now, there were only a few fill-in items left. I wanted to be a part of this because there were people dying and he made his fame and his fortune on public awareness that's what he's known for so for him to be in that room was ever so fitting and i saw the real reason why he is bob dylan guy is probably one of the hardest working cats i've ever met before in my life i kept waiting for him to get tired and sit down and rest. He kept saying, want me to do it again? We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones who make a brighter day. So let's start giving. So let's start giving. There's a choice we'll make. Yeah, we're saving our own lives. It's true, we'll make a better day. Just you and me. I think any time you know, somebody asks you to take it one night at a time, keep people from starving to death someplace, it's, it's pretty hard to, you know, can't say no. So let's start giving. Sweat on it. It's not over yet. It's even like make believe. Are you doing something? Are you going somewhere? Go. You killed it. And we and we made it through. Is, is it okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's only twenty after eight, man. <laughs> the recording of We Are the World was quite an event. Not merely a glorious star-studded evening, but possibly one of the most idealistic occasions in pop music history. 
In that way, it was also a measurement of just how much pop music has grown in recent years and how many of its best artists feel responsible to the world around them. But in many ways, what happened that night was just a start. In the weeks following the We Are The World sessions, several other groups of artists, including Canadian, Latin American, gospel, and African pop stars, recorded similar benefit singles for the relief of hunger in Africa and other parts of the world. Perhaps the most moving response to USA for Africa took place on the morning of April 5th, Good Friday, when over 8,000 radio stations around the globe played We Are The World at the same time. It was an utterly unprecedented event that reached and affected millions of people of all races and all beliefs. But it's important to point out that we aren't just talking about worldwide popularity or massive record sales here. When 8,000 radio stations play this song at the same hour, it means that the world is momentarily a neighborhood of concern, coming together to save some hungry children. And when you or I buy this record, We Are The World, that concern becomes a concrete action. The money from the record sales and this program goes to work effectively and quickly, addressing not just immediate needs of hunger, but also the long-term matter of self-sufficiency, so that the trend of famine in these countries can be reversed and brought under control by those who are the most affected. This means that we can save real lives, give real people a chance to find their own strength again, and to live without the awful, ever-present fear of starvation. The poet John Donne once said, any man's death diminishes me because I am involved in mankind. But today, in the words of Michael Jackson and Lionel Richie, a pop song says, there's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. The message is much the same. If we're involved in mankind, we can't look away from what's happening in Africa because if we do, we are gradually killing our conscience. And that might be the most terrible death of all. It's so nice to be able to see this caliber of talent get together for this, you know, what is really a very tragic reason. It's a shame it takes something like this to put this group together, but it's nice to see and know that when it's all said and done, these people do respond. I think it's a great thing. I think that um, artists should, should definitely do something positive like this. That's why I'm here. When they called and asked for this, this was something that I really, it's very close to me because I have been following it and I was I was determined to do my uh, my little bit. I got a feeling that we're creating uh, a shift in what's going on in the world today about helping other people. It's compassion, it's real new, and it's wonderful, it's a good feeling. I was happy they included me, really. If this can be almost seen as a symbol to, to for people to just begin to recognize, you know, and look around them a little bit, um, I think, you know, we'll all be better off. People, you know, usually unless something immediately touches somebody, they, they, people don't, they don't react to them. Uh, they, 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 I think that, that when you get all these people together like this, you know, just saying, well, well don't turn away, you know, don't, don't, uh, it's hard, it's hard to not, not to turn away, you know, but I think that's what everybody here is trying to say tonight. The money will really get to go where it's supposed to go, and it's uh, got so much good energy behind it. Amen. And uh, so many uh, good, talented people uh, lending their names to the, to the whole idea that it's just got to work. Once anybody is involved in something like this, once you've tasted this, you can be sure that everybody will have a lifetime commitment to just doing this for the rest of their lives. When something like this comes along, it's a while. That, that allows everyone to, to, to participate and feel that they're making a contribution. You, you, you rush to do it because otherwise you feel that you're just a witness to uh, just a tragedy. I do believe that uh, what we have done is that we're taking it one at a time. And out of this experience, we may be able to save you know, a few thousand lives. And I think that's, what we, that's how we have to focus on it, one at a time. Catch a child, catch a woman, catch an old person. Catch a young man. Just do it. I don't want anyone to get the hunger program out of your mind until the hunger stops, until babies stop dying, until communities stop dying, till people stop dying from hunger. They're going to need your help. Anything you can do if you have any feeling in your heart at all about human life and the celebration of life, 
Give of yourselves. Give what you can. There are people dying. Let's 